Hi, I'm John. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial for you today on updating the Orion firmware. Okay, so for this tutorial you're going to need a uh, data card to put your firmware on. Uh, it can be anything below 2 gigabytes, uh, and pretty much any size will work because the firmware files are pretty small. They're only 100 kilobytes big, usually on average. Uh, you'll need a another new data card uh, for the Orion once you've upgraded the firmware because uh, when you do that you want to switch the memory card out that's currently in it that's been running the old firmware. And then uh, you might need um, an SD card reader for your computer if it doesn't have uh, one built in. So this is just an external one that I picked up on Amazon and uh, all you have to do is plug in your SD card there and then plug it into a USB slot and you're good to go. Alright, so I'm going to bring you over to the computer now. Here I am running uh, Windows 10 with Orion Tool 7.14 and we're going to upload uh, firmware 7.10 for the Orion. Um, I just uh, plugged in my SD card into my USB stick and I'm going to plug that into my computer. And so you can see that it's a drive that for is formatted for Windows because it automatically popped up with the uh, folder view here. And uh, one thing you want to quickly take a glance at is the drive letter before you close this. Um, if you are using a SD card that's already been put in Orion or that essentially isn't formatted for Windows, it's going to complain and it's going to ask you to format it. Um, you don't have to do that, so uh, just uh, take note of what the drive letter is. If you don't know it, you can always go to your computer and uh, look at the drive here. And so we're just going to close this window now. And we're going to go to this selection box here, and that's the drive that uh, we want to put the firmware onto. And so since G is selected, that's all good. And we're going to erase it. And it's going to give you an extra warning about it being formatted for Windows, and just click Yes. And then Erase was successful. And then now we're going to upload the firmware. And you'll probably see in your Orion Tool firmware folder only these two files, uh, or any uh, newer ones. Um, just select the highest version uh, that's available, because in the future when uh, we come out with 7.11 or something like that, you're going to want to select that instead of 7.10. So just select the highest version and click open. And then it's going to say, or hopefully say, uploaded and verified the firmware. And basically what it's done is it's uploaded the data and then it's read back from the card every block to make sure that it's not uh, corrupted at all or anything like that. And you're going to click OK. And so the next thing we're going to do is actually uh, go to your um, file explorer and go to your PC and right click on the drive and click eject and now we're good to remove it from the computer I'm just gonna pull my uh, memory card out of the computer that has the firmware on it and that's uh, this one here and um, so now we have to pull the memory card out that has valid data on it um, the one of the most important things you can do whenever you interact with the memory card is to always make sure that you pause it. This is going to stop the Orion from reading or writing to memory at all and that's really important because you never want to pull it out when it's right in the middle of writing uh, something to the uh, data card. So uh, we're going to hit pause and the decoding light is either going to stay on or stay off. It doesn't matter which. Uh, just make sure that it's solid and then you're going to press in on the card and that's going to pop out at you and take it out and put it to the side and put your firmware card in and just press it in until it clicks again and then when you unpause here you're going to see these lights do some funny things and that's going to be the firmware uploading and once it's done both lights will shut right off okay so it just finished and uh, the next part is pretty important too. You have to actually take the firmware out before you do anything. Um, this is kind of important because if you inadvertently power on the receiver even for a brief second uh, when you're pulling the power cord out, uh, you could have the Orion try and boot and load the firmware in again. And if it gets halfway through that process, it can end up corrupting your Orion. So make sure to pull that firmware out now. And then uh, take your a uh, new data card and uh, it doesn't matter if it's formatted for Windows or, or not because uh, if an Orion sees a card and it boots 
um, up with it, it'll format it for itself. So we're just going to uh, press that in until it clicks again, and then cycle the power. And then it's going to slowly boot up here. It usually takes about a minute. Okay, and there we go. Now it's running like normal. So that's all there is to it. If uh, you ever have any troubles, uh, always feel free to give me an email or give me a phone call. Uh, most of the time I'm around. So thanks for watching.